So here we are at the mouth of the Waterford Harbour and uh, that's Hook Head out there just coming into the centre of the shot there now you might just make it up and then a couple of yachts a couple of fishing boats a coaster out there at anchor waiting on orders and that's Dunmore East down below and what I came to see today well I'm fishing mackerel at the moment but I'm getting up so I decided I'd come in and have a look at Craven Head so that's Craven Head there, above Dunmore East. So you can see Lockavilish and then Woodstown, Strand, all the way up then towards uh, Passage East on uh, the left hand side, on the Waterford side. And across over there at those buildings and what have you is Duncan. And that's the Wexford side running down. So anyway, came down to take a look, or came in to take a look. At Creighton and particularly the mysterious 40 steps. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to go in and get you a bit closer to it. So we're after coming in closer and you can see just ahead of me here that's a Creighton head. And all that uh, pudding stone, that volcanic pudding stone just in front of us here. Just ahead of the punt are these mysterious steps. Let's see if I can get us a bit closer to it. Even up from the water line. Looks like they're just starting there at this point. Some part of it is gone as far as I'm aware. And then up and up on top. And away you go, I suppose, in along the headland. So there's a number of theories as to the, these steps and what they're doing here. And um, I don't think anyone conclusively has proven exactly what their purpose was. Well, they haven't conclusively proved anything. But um, one of the theories was that it was used by pirates or by. Um, smugglers as a series of steps to get in and out of boats uh, bringing um, different goods ashore here and although we certainly did have a lot of smuggling go on in the harbour uh, a long number of years ago uh, it's a very inhospitable place it's very uh, open to the elements so as regards land and stuff here or whatever I don't know practical that is. Um, another theory was that it might have been used by the Knights Templar as a ferry crossing that the steps were there to arrange for that. And if you pan across to the other side you'll see uh, you probably won't but just there in the distance is the tower at Templetown in County Wexford on the peninsula. So was it possible certainly was, I guess. Is it probable? I don't know. But the tides and everything else like that only really work at certain times of tide. But anyway, who knows? And um, uh, another theory that I heard Noel MacDonough, uh, just, it was a theory that he put out there at one of his talks, the late Noel MacDonough. Uh, who of course is synonymous now with Craven Head and all those fantastic finds that he made and the tears around one of the earliest settlements uh, or, or the, one of the earliest places that people settled in Ireland potentially with all the flint finds he made here but Noel was talking about some of that and he was, uh, one of the tears he put forward was that would it have been part of some sort of funeral rite of those early people um, bringing it down from the uh, giant's grave which is further inland from here uh, bringing it down and into the cave which is at the back here anyway it was a theory that he had I know he didn't get a chance to probably fully explore it or whatever but uh, it's no less plausible or no, worth, no less worth considering 
than any of the others that have been put out there. Anyway, the mysterious 40 steps at Creighton Head. Uh, very intriguing little spot here in Waterford Harbour. Wonderful place name, of course. And um, just another one of those stories that I don't know if ever be conclusively proved. But uh, still, it's worth showcasing, highlighting it. And obviously it's a kind of place that you don't normally get to see, so that's why I wanted to make the video. Thanks, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>